Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, host of Bachelor in Paradise, a guy's review. Got some breaking news here. It appears that Victoria Fuller and Blake Horstman are dating. They said we're dating now on the Behind the Rose podcast. Now, not everybody believes this to be true. A lot of people think they might just be uh, joking around. I, I tend to believe that they are dating. I'm going to play for you guys the clip from the Behind the Rose podcast where they spill the beans that they are official. They were spotted together in church, getting down on their knees for the Lord, that is, bump the Harrison, and we'll have to see if that means they're together or if maybe they're just, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, Bible buddies, as it were. All right, so if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you really enjoy my content, go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal to get behind-the-scenes info Information. And also, I've got an interview coming out on Friday with Brandon uh, Quinn Scanzano, of course, from Katie Thurston's season of The Bachelorette. Very fantastic interview. Just recorded it. I'm going to release that early to the newsletter. So if you are on the newsletter on Thursday tomorrow, you can get that before everybody else, the private unlisted version of that video. Uh, join my newsletter in the comment section on my link tree. You can just type in your name and address, uh, email address and you'll get all the information for that. All right, now let's get into this. I'm going to play for you guys a clip here where they talk about a few things regarding uh, Victoria Fuller's time on the show, who she's dated, who she would date, and then they spill the beans that they are together. Again, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Victoria Fuller has been linked to Chris Bukowski. Of course, she was on Peter Weber's season where they had a weird fight at their hometown date. She kind of made a fight out of nothing, but, you know, sometimes that happens when you have some sort of other unresolved issues. We've all done that where you're in an argument with some with someone, and you're like, I don't think this is about me. It's not about me. So she has some choice words to say about Peter Weber here. And, of course, Blake Horst was the finalist uh, silver medal on Becca Kufrin season. Uh, didn't um, did it? He made it to the altar. It didn't make it off the altar with a Neil Lane engagement ring. But uh, there they were, and uh, there are two very well known people within the uh, Bachelor Nation. So if this is true, it'll be big news. All right, let's have a listen here to this clip, and we'll uh, hear for ourselves if we think they are together or not. All right, here we'll play it at any moment now. So what surprised you the most about being on? show and do you have any regrets holy shit okay <laughs> we're getting deep <laughs> you're like wow um what surprised me most about this show <laughs> am i allowed to actually say um <laughs> oh yeah you're off contract yeah, yeah. yeah off hate contract. probably that reality tv is not what it seems and like i think i just have so much more grace around people that i watch now because it's it's real it's it's reality tv it's not real that's a real. great way to put it because i also watch with a lot of grace like even the people that i'm like like victoria larson mm -hmm. like i still have a lot of like she can be a lot and i don't not like the biggest fan of her character on television i still have a lot of grace for her because i'm like i know the producers are in her ear being like say your goddess yeah, yeah say your goddess yeah. Yeah. for victoria it's like, okay yeah. it's fucked up so yeah yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> a good answer that's a good answer i got i got another one uh like for bachelor if you could pick another previous season of The Bachelor to be on, who would you pick? Mm -hmm. That's a good one, right? I'm trying to think of like all The Bachelors. She's dated a few. Um, Which is fine. So many. <laughs> Why am I so blanking many. And they all look the same. So you yeah. get kind of mixed up. Um, they all look the who same. Is, who is like a hot Bachelor that we like? Um, ben Higgins. All right, I'll, I'll say I know like Ben Higgins. <laughs> I'm yeah. on, sorry, Chris but, Souls, like, yeah, Chris, um, Nick Vial, <laughs> Colton. I probably would have went on Chris's season because I fucking dated him. Yeah, I know. Oh, I wondered if you would remember. Yeah, right. I was like, this is an easy answer, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not hard to debate. You literally no dated one detected. of them already. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go on Chris's season, um, obviously. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> man. This is fun. <laughs> Oh man! Um, Are there any contestants or former contestants you would want to see on the beach? Ooh, in paradise! Ooh, uh, I like would? this season. Like if you were no, it's it doesn't coming. have to be this season. Just uh, anybody. You know who I would love to see go on the beach would be fucking Peter Weber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> he is such a fucking mess that it would just be so funny. Yikes. I would just roast him the whole time. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> 
<laughs> he almost went to, I think. Like they, I they, know. They were in conversation. Close. I told him, I was like, Pete, yeah. don't go this year, dude. I'm like, all your exes are down there. Go next yeah. year. I'm like, just <laughs> wait a year. Another. Like, they're going to have you anytime, dude. Like, don't go down this year. Don't do Can it. Imagine. Good friend. Oh my God. If he was down there, I would have wanted you to be down there so bad. Why? Because I feel like it would have been really funny to watch you two interact. So most of Peter Weber. <laughs> yeah, I think you, it would have been funny to see you two, though. A lot of bitterness oh, here. No, there's zero attraction there. With zero that. attraction there. Tell us how you really feel, Victoria. No, just, just, <laughs> the right. floor is yours. Listen, I like Pete. Okay. No, no, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a harmless. fine. He's fine. I just I think like everything that I've. Yeah, sure. He's fine. I just think he's like a. a He's Peter. He's Peter Weber. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. He's Peter Weber. I don't like um, you because you're you. Are you dating? What's your love life like? Here it is, Tori. Oh, yeah. hey, a <laughs> question. Get to it. We're uh, dating okay. now, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So. I was going to ask. We just dropped that. I was going to ask, how is church? That's official. <laughs> that's official. Yeah. Can we, ta- can we talk about that? Yeah, guys, Victoria Jack. I saw that somehow weekend. got leaked too. I was like, well, Yeah, it was all over. Yeah, it was only good. good. Whoever Dude, finds and I shit. know who I know who was at church and saw us because I saw yeah. her. Uh-oh. I mean, it was the girl behind us. She one hundred percent was like, Yeah, because I shook my hand. I shook her hand, you know, and the preacher was like, Shake hands to someone around you, oh, and she was like, I was. I turned around and she was like. And then she looked at you, and then she looked at me, and then she was like, "I shook her hand." Yeah, one hundred percent. I saw I saw that today on on Bachelor Scoop, and I was yeah. like, "How the fuck?" You're mm-hmm. like, "Holy shit!" They're at church, like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I dragged I dragged Blake to church with me, but you loved it. You it did. was a very good sermon. It was good. It was a good sermon. Um, it, was it was fun. Nice. It was a cool church. I mean, it was a, it was a fun church. It's like a lot like for those of you in Denver. It's a lot like Red Rocks Church. It's like amazing music, yeah, talented that. singers. Yeah, yeah, it's very much like that. I'm gonna so give a lot of people here in Denver some big Red credit Rocks. that he knew that it was called a sermon. Ah, I know, hey, right? come on. <laughs> The funny thing is, is like Blake is more like in tune with the spiritual side. I think like he even knows. And so it was just like cute to see you like in it because you actually really did enjoy yourself. I look more more smiling. There were some moments where he would say, because we had this like guest um, pastor Pastor, preacher and uh, some of the things he said, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, it's good. I was like, I'm going to use that. I was like, damn. Like that was that one that was like, uh, um. It was the like Satan won't see the you enemy one. Yeah, where it was yeah, like, yeah, 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 your enemy doesn't fear you until you're a threat or something. Like, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. So here we go, folks. Okay, all right, let's discuss this. All right, so <laughs> Victoria Fuller drags Blake to church, and people are wondering if they're dating or not. Of course, they're dating. Listen, that the number one reason men go to church is because a lady he likes dragged him there. Look, he goes, uh, "Yeah, it was a good sermon. Yeah, the sermon was good." She's like, "You like the sermon?" He's like, "I liked the sermon last night. I liked it enough to get me to church. Get out on my knees for the Bible." They're not just Bible buddies; they're bumping buddies here. They're dating. This is how it works. She goes to church. It's like, listen, if she if if she wanted to go to some, uh, you know, astrology seminar, Blake would have gone. She's like, all right, you can uh, you can hook up with me. We'll date, but you have to enjoy the fact that I uh, harvest crystals during a full moon. He's like, we harvest crystals. Give me the emissive. You know what I mean? Because uh, as a guy, we have no backbone whatsoever when it comes to liking a lady. It's like, all right, you want me to be a Yankees fan? I've been a Red Sox fan my whole life. Give me the hat. I'm a Yankees fan now. We're going in section three. What do you need to do? Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment are they together was that official i took it as being official some people didn't let's go back here to bachelor nation.scoop they're getting all the love by the way good for them for posting that story wait are they actually dating or were they kidding so people are really wondering 62 percent said no again the question was a little weird were they dating or are they kidding 38% 38% said yes. Yes to them kidding or yes to them dating. I think they're dating. I don't think this poll was taken in a proper uh, format. So I, th- I think they're dating. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, I think it's actually a good little uh, relationship there. They both have their issues with Bachelor Nation. So they're they're not, uh, they're not they're on the outside, but they haven't like burnt bridges. They're just off contract. So Blake's doing his thing as a DJ. Victoria's got a pretty uh, uh, illustrious um Instagram career. I mean, hey, you know, I mean, she's probably making a ton here. Half a million followers. She's got great content. She's one of the 
most beautiful contestants to have been on the show. Um, you know, her biggest thing that she's had to work on is how she acted in Peter Weber's season. But, you know, you get a lot of stress. Your guys meeting the family. Clearly, she has a lot of bitterness to Peter Weber. At least at least in the sense that maybe she's, like, embarrassed by how she acted on the show. Maybe she's embarrassed she even liked the guy in the first place. Who knows, right? People grow. People evolve. We're all proof of that. Let me know what you guys think about this pairing. And, uh, you know, this was not in the books uh, of, of content I thought I was going to be making today. I've got a Tyler Cameron video coming up in a little bit and some Michelle Young uh, spoiler information on another video. For all spoiler videos, I make sure you guys know it's a spoiler well in advance so you can dodge the spoil if you don't want to be a part of it. Uh, and again, join the newsletter. There'll be a link in the description so you can join up for that. It's free. It's easy. And then you'll get access to the content before everyone else. All right, folks. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye now.